Let's talk about what happens on our roads. It was an accident that left him with severe leg injuries. So for him, it's only a miracle that he survived and is able to walk again. Deputy Communications Minister George Anders spent 14 days at the 37 military hospital after his car was involved in a head-on collision with a tipper truck in the Ewutu Senya West constituency of the central region. Other occupants of his vehicle suffered various injuries. As John News launches its road safety campaign, hashtag Arrive Alive, Mr. Anda has been sharing his story with us on the Super Morning Show. The truck driver came back. I think he was sort of swerving, trying to. Uh, he was. Uh, he probably must have lost control. And uh, for me, that's the last thing that I remember of that accident. Uh, the next, I remember I was in the back of an Abubuya. My head was on the lap of my bodyguard, and I asked him what was going on. I was, I, uh, I was feeling some very severe pain in my leg, and he said we were involved in an accident and we were going to the hospital. So. Um, apparently God must have sent an Abubuya because uh, there, was, there was no one on the road. The Abubuya driver came around, he decided to put us in the back of his bucket um, to St. Gregory's Hospital. And I was, I was in and out of consciousness at that time. So we ended up at St. Gregory Hospital mm. um, and we were giving first aid. Then we got, we made contact with family. We made contact with uh, people from Jubilee House. The doctors um, at St. Gregory made contact with 37, and they agreed that um, I had to be um, airlifted as soon as possible because mm. of the condition that I was in. Apparently, I was deteriorating. That's Deputy Communications Minister George Anda, who was involved in an accident. So you can know that it doesn't matter where you are, how much power you have. It can happen to you at any time. Well, George News' Arrive Alive road safety campaign comes in the wake of the deadly crash in the central region in which 34, including an eight-month-old baby, were killed. In fact, that figure is only a fraction of the 2,000 lives lost each year to road accidents on our roads. Mr. Anda says he will support this campaign. Well, my support, I mean, I, I'm fully on board this campaign. Um, any any role that you want me to play, I will play. But I think that there are a number of things. First is the education of drivers. We need to make sure that all drivers are educated. I mean, it's not just about you who's driving being careful, but it's also about the other driver. There's also the issue of emergency responses. I mean, when accidents like this happen, Sometimes in the way people are carried, it even makes it more complicated. And um, one aspect that we probably know that is also the situation where people that are physically challenged go through. I mean, I, 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 I have been through quite a lot of things that I took for granted when I was fully able since I have uh, had this challenge. I mean, even uh, traveling, is, it's, it's, it's a bit of a problem. Um, walking upstairs, I mean, when in places that don't have lifts, uh, looking for parking. Um, and, and, and I think that these are things that we need to take a bit, a bit more seriously. Uh, I remember I were once in parliament in, in a committee meeting and then the fire um, alarm went off. And I was I was extremely stranded because you couldn't use a lift when the fire was out. So I had to go and stand on some corridor. And if indeed I was going to be a proper fire, um, you could imagine what would have happened. Mm. So, so some of these all these situations must be must be addressed not just because of an accident, but because we need to prepare properly for these um, situations. Deputy Communications Minister George Anda. But how well are you aware of road safety related issues? This campaign is aimed at avoiding needless loss of lives, like the death of the 34 people last week, Tuesday, following that head on collision of the two Utong buses at Dumpase on the Cape Coast Takwadi Highway. Roland Walker was at the VIP station terminal here in Accra and found out from passengers their views on how to reduce road accidents. How are passengers aware about safety? We will speak to a number of the passengers. We will also get to ask them whether they are aware about safety-related issues. As passengers, as drivers, etc., not only for VIP, 
you are generally aware about safety on the road. Yeah, we are, we are aware about the safety. So basically, what do you know about safety being on the road? Yeah, you know, as a driver, on your way going, you have to know where to park. You have to know this place is dangerous place, whether you have to do overtaking or not. So whether there is a, a safety or not safety, you the driver, you have to make sure that you have to drive well and make sure that you save the passengers and the vehicle. Mm. But there are times that, uh, for example, we had 34 lives just lost last week. Yeah. And in which, you know you're driving a long bus, but you also decide to uh, do uh, a, a series of overtaking of vehicles. You know, that's individual difference. Yeah, you can't talk on top of somebody's uh, mistake. Yeah, you know, uh, in, uh, there, is in, uh, there is a saying in a local language, if you be a mensa womb, no matter how it is, one or two bad drivers, you get them, but generally, VIP, we are good drivers. Joseph, yeah. um, why why do you take the maybe not only VIP but the long buses, etc.? What's the first decision point for you? Um, I actually don't consider. I take anything which is available. <laughs> <laughs> anything goes for you. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay, but are, are you aware uh, about yourself, road safety issues, etc. When you are as a passenger, are, are you conscious? Yeah, definitely. It's the first thing you have to consider when taking a bus. Okay. So, what usually are you conscious of? Not only the bus, but maybe the trotro, etc. What usually are you conscious of when you take, uh, when you are first selecting? But now you say you don't. You just take randomly what comes. But when you're on on a bus or a truck, what what do you consider? Um, like example for taking this VIP bus, I think it's more safe. Like, and also um, when you see the appearance of the bus, you have to know whether it's more safe to take it or not. And I think VIP generally is it's a good bus to take. Yeah, yeah I don't. I'm not you only related. I'm t you've taken many commercial vehicles up to now. So, so I'm sure just your general perception. But look, sometimes you can see a very well sprayed or decorated commercial bus, they say, um, don't mind the body, mind the engine. Is that something that uh, rings in your mind? Yeah, that is something difficult to also know, you know, <laughs> because mostly we just watch the appearance of the bus. So, so what if what if a, a driver is speeding? Okay, in this case, I think you have to find a way to let the, the driver know. Uh, Anti-test, I'm a patrol, hey, hey, so, uh, one casa as a passenger, no say oh fro basa, and I say oh fro trot trom poa. Dieng in crunch and out minya sa say oh maybe basi ama free and I say trot trom ama free. Maybe driver ye bet me a kaka na kama. Eko si ne wey ane baby ameko no ne bet me do asum dream. Ah okay, me VIP dia me jo mo di. Ni misa omo kaka omo fan ko speed. And I was say ko imbi time omo so omo di bedu bi omo di bedu kama. Mm. 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 Okay. so far, trot run, so. Sorry. Me uh -huh. mm. is, uh, what for trot tra, driver near speed and now say oh, co speed of catch and say Bema uh Pacho do lemu. Me patcho I why is that another? Me patcho I no modu. Roland Walker at his very conversational best with the passengers there talking about um, staying alive on the road. Well, you can do your bit to stay alive on the road. Uh, join the campaign, hashtag ArriveAlive, and share tips on how we can all stay safe when we use the road.